In early March, I had another chance to check in on my lawn to low water permaculture project in San Diego, California. As soon as I walked up to the front yard, I was struck by hundreds of bright yellow flowers. This yellow wood sorrel, also known as sour grass, has grown up through the ground cover succulent that had covered much of the yard before my last visit. Besides being beautiful, this wood sorrel is completely edible and medicinal. It was a pleasant surprise. The aggressive growth of the ground cover succulent has slowed down since the irrigation was turned off last October, but it's still green and healthy, along with the rest of the plants in the front yard. It appears that the winter rain harvested off the driveway and into the rock-lined swale has stored a good reserve of water beneath the soil. I look forward to seeing how the yard does through this upcoming summer, without the aid of drip irrigation. Backyard is now well into spring, with new growth everywhere. The ground cover in the planter is filling in, with strawberries, lemon balms, and mints. And the comfrey is returning. There is wood sorrel here in the backyard as well, helping to fill in the spaces between the larger bushes. These bushes are now growing back much tighter after being trimmed back and cut off from irrigation. They are also starting to flower and fulfill their function of pollinator forage and habitat. The bees sure do like the lavender flowers. The water harvested off the roof and into this basin has made everything lush and green, including the semi-wild area around the avocado tree, which is well liked by the dogs. The guava tree is doing extremely well, and has put on a significant amount of new growth in the form of these beautiful purple leaves. I was a bit worried about the avocado tree last time I visited, but all of the dying brown leaves have fallen off, and fresh new green leaves are sprouting up from the branches. The ground cover between the pavers seems to be going through a cycle of different species of plants. I don't know what this bright green spreading plant is, but I like how it is filling in the bare soil. A little M&M likes it too. The creeping time that did get established is doing quite well and holding its ground against the native weeds. The lemon tree is still packed with fruit and is now covered in flowers, making more fruit for the next season. The golden nugget mandarin is showing new growth, and the owner reports that she already got a small crop of fruit off of it. Thankfully, I found one she missed. The passion fruit vine is still going strong now covering the entire wall after only one year of growth. In a few weeks, it will be covered in these incredibly complex flowers. It has grown into a thick, cooling carpet over the garage wall, and is reaching out further over the pergola. The growth is a bit unruly in areas, so I did some trimming and training of the vines before I left. They are already turning the porch into a pleasant environment to visit with friends. I'm glad I had a chance to visit the San Diego Lawn to Low Water Project in the springtime, to see it reacting to the winter rains and progressing through this wonderful time of year. I learn so much every time I come back to this project. I can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please do subscribe and feel free to share them around social media. These videos are made possible by the generous donations of my supporters. So if you'd like to make a donation, you can do so via PayPal or Bitcoin. If you'd like to offer ongoing support, please do consider becoming a patron through my page at patreon.com slash Grind. I've got a lot planned for this year and lots more videos in the works, which I hope will inspire others to take the leap to their own adventures in homesteading and permaculture. So once again, thank you for watching, 
Thank you for joining me in building a better world through Chronicles.